Hello friends of the internet, welcome back to Coffee Over Apples, my name is Steph and welcome to a reading vlog. Um, I'm going to be probably wearing this outfit at the end of the video as well because I forgot to record um, opening footage for this vlog, but I am going to be reading three books in this vlog in the theme of Omegaverse, so I reached out to my wonderful best online friends, um, Natalie, who is much more versed in the Omegaverse than I. I have been in a romance reading mood and um, my friend knows me so well. I trust her opinions 110%. So um, no matter what happens in this vlog, I am quite certain that I'm going to have at least a fun time. Everything is going to be erotic fiction. It is going to be sexy and wonderful and uh, a hoot. Where are we? We're at the sunflower maze. Sunflower maze! Yay! We're on an adventure! It didn't fully bloom yet, but that's okay. They said the other side did. So we're going there. We went there. You'll okay, see. We saw. We sunflowered. We sunflowered. <laughs> we got bugged. We got bug <laughs> A sweaty. We got milkweed. Milkweeded. Whee! It's so nice! Wow, look at that over there. Oh, look, there's little things we can take pictures in. Okay. Oh, this is it. This is it. Okay. This is the, this is the... Wild bergamot. Oh, that's what this is. Member of the mint family is a favorite of hummingbirds, beads, hummingbird moths, and butterflies. What's a hummingbird moth? I think it's that thing that's in the picture. I, oh. Oh, well, that's kind of creepy. Wait, I want to take a video. Look at all the flowers. Look! Wow, they're so pretty. I love it. Omegaverse reading vlog update. Okay, I finished Mating the Huntress by Talia Hibbert. Talia Hibbert always is so good. Like, this is one thing that I think is rightfully hyped on booktube. Talia Hibbert is amazing. She can do no wrong. Um, I think I'm pretty much going to give this a four star. I wasn't crazy in love with it, but it was a good time, and that's what she does. Like, I fondly remember the last book I read with from her just being a really good time, and I love that. I mean, what's there not to say? It's like a quintessential werewolf romance. It was sweet. It, like... There was the correct amount of tension buildup for me, right? The consent was wonderful. It was beautifully sexy. Like, the male love interest, the werewolf, he gets a whiff of his mate after being in battle with a huntress. And so the huntress are a family of monster hunters are, I don't know if they like specifically just target werewolves. I can't remember if they just target like monsters in general. But they have a daughter who is um, not allowed to hunt with the rest of them. So there's a couple siblings, like a really big family. And there's one daughter who was given a premonition at birth that her first kill will take her heart. 
And so the family says, okay, well, the rest of the family is going to be hunting monsters and whatever, but you can't because we don't, we think you're going to die in battle. Um, it turns out it's not actually that she's going to die in battle. It's that it's her love. And like, you know, it's like a super short novella. So while that sounds kind of spoilery, it's honestly about the journey and it's a romance, which means it's going to have a happy ending anyway. Um, so I thought it was sweet. It was like a great palate cleanser, I think. So wherever I go after this. I'm already obsessed. It was a straight romance, so, like, nothing out of the ordinary there if you're already familiar with how romance is formatted. Again, like, what works for me in romance is I need a good buildup of tension or, like, a good plot that's established before they get down and dirty, so there's that. And this gave it to me. Um, I thought it was nice. It is the first in a trilogy. I might someday pick up the second one. I'm not rushing to get to it, but I think, like, if I need, again, a palate cleanser or just need something that's going to be fun, enemies to lovers um, kind of thing. So that's where we're at. I think we're off to a great start with this vlog. I'm very excited. Next, I'm going to pick up Not So Kind Regards by Cleo Evans, and I don't know what the third book in this vlog is going to be, but hey, I love this for me. I love this for me. my god <laughs> um <laughs> okay update on the omegaverse vlog i finished not so kind regards i mean four stars i'm curving it up to four stars just because i had such a fun time it was so funny and sweet and wholesome um okay generally the plot line is enemies to lovers right and there is a company um that shares a building with another company so uh warts and claws i think it was so the claws section was run by monsters like vampires and werewolves i think and just like demons of other kinds and the boss or the one of the bosses that we follow is a succubus and the um, warts section was run by witches, so witches and monsters have a long history of hating each other, so there's a whole, like, allegory going on here. Um, it ultimately ends up being an enemies to lovers thruple. So freaking cute. So sweet. One of the witches ends up uh, unlikely becoming an omega which is not common in their like world like it's known that it happens it's just like kind of rare um so that becomes a segue for this whole plot line the two companies have to merge together so they have to learn to get along um and the dom the dominatrix energy i'm obsessed <sighs> obsessed we need more dom women energy i need more content like this it was stunning okay so where it was like the first book that i read in this vlog the uh werewolf guy was more dominant like more a very typical straight romance as has been popularized of like the guy's got the he's like the rough and tumble um, alpha male, blah, 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 right? The trend that I am seeing through all of this, regardless of who is dominant, is consent. And I find that so... It's That's, that's hot. Like, consent is stunning, and I love that. Like, not doing anything regardless of what the kink is, um, that 
would make your partner feel uncomfortable constantly like reassuring that no matter what they do that they're okay with it even though there was a scene in this uh recent read where it was like the bond between two of the characters was done um not like not while the third person was around there was a very slow buildup of it so it wasn't like none of them saw it coming um and also that third person had previously said that they were having a change of heart and that they were really enjoying being in the company and presence of both of their partners um so they had already been in talks about like is this something that we want to do for forever you know whatever that means for them the ending threw me through a loop uh without giving anything away basically there's like this scene where one of the head honchos who was a witch comes in and is like everyone's getting a promotion you get a promotion and you get a promotion and our little sweet baby omega is like do i have to get a promotion i'm happy being on this rung of the ladder and they're like who are you again okay fine i guess and you get a promotion and it's like the funniest thing ever so ult like i think realistically this should be like a three star or a 3.5 but i'm rounding it up to four because i was constantly cackling also the succubus has teeth in her like nether regions in her lady parts she got teeth bro and it was great it was awesome <laughs> it was it was for like enhancing the uh tension and um tactile pleasure of her partners everyone's like whoa girl you got teeth all right let's do it <laughs> i'm just like loving it loving it it was so good um okay but yeah i don't know what i'm gonna read next in this vlog so we're gonna find out together <laughs> Okay, I finally got the title of the next book that I'm going to read and last book for this vlog. And I believe it's called My Feline Gentleman or something like that. This is giving me more monster vibes. It's a cat. I don't know, but it's a manga. So we will see. I'm probably going to finish this really quickly and then record my thoughts on this to like close out my overall thoughts of this vlog. Um, but going into it, I kind of know nothing other than the fact that she loved this. So, and it, this is going to be the thing that like fully dips me into the Omegaverse. So we will see where this goes right now. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> but nothing in this vlog has let me down so far. So we'll see. Okay, it is about 30 minutes later and I finished, um, <laughs> what's it called again that I just read? <laughs> I don't even remember what the name of the thing I just read was. Uh, okay, Kindle. My mate is a feline gentleman. Um, okay. I get why this is more Omegaverse than the other books that I read. So, plot really quick. We're following a main character who is an Omega. It's giving um, early 20th century Japan, maybe late 19th century Japan. And there are these beast-like creatures, and then there's humans. Um... Omegas are cast out of society, they're kind of like taboo, and the main character lives in a brothel, and their mother was an Omega. So, uh, trigger warnings in here, which my friend did tell me about, and I'm very thankful that she gave me the trigger warning um, for sexual assault in this. But that's like really the main part of the plot, the plot line. Um, so it's like this character was continuously being assaulted while living in the brothel because Omegas like almost have no rights, right? Um, can't get a job, can't do anything like that. So um, essentially what ends up happening is that this 
cat person, um, beast, cat beast person who was from another country uh, in Europe somewhere says that uh, they hire, they go to this group called Mercantile, something Mercantile, and they they need a servant, um, which they intend to have like a friendship or just like someone to help take care of the house while they're there. And this Omega ends up coming to them and a sweet summer child who has just experienced horrible things and doesn't know what it means to be loved or cared for. So ultimately, uh, while finally in the servitude of this cat person's house is learning what it means to actually fall in love or just to be treated like a normal person. Um, so it's sweet and um, it feels like very baseline in a way. Uh, and I'm, try I'm trying to think of the words and how to describe that. I'm ultimately giving this three stars. Um, I don't think that it was anything groundbreaking. Um, I mean, what I did get was some more insight into Omega Verse. Why the cat? Like, why was he a cat? Like, I don't know, maybe in future volumes that does something for this. Um, it was important that he was a cat in a sense because. So the beasts get injections or get some sort of like suppress it in order to prevent them from reacting to the pheromones of omegas uh, or to other humans so that they don't kind of like lose their, lose control of themselves, uh, like re revert into their bestiality. So even though he does have that blocker or that protection, he, he does end up wanting to mate with the Omega anyway, and it becomes a sweet story. Also, why do the cats have two bays? I get it was supposed to make them look more like human-like, um, but it was reading as toupee for me, for all of them, reading emo boy, and I'm just like, do we need that? Just look like a cat. Why do you have to look like you want to be in my chemical romance? <laughs> um, there is a point where it's like, something happens that's pretty traumatic but then a really sweet the like the the climax moment happens right after that that's really sweet and wholesome and makes it a romance but it's like i don't know maybe it's just me um but if i experience something extremely traumatic in this specific spot in this specific location five minutes ago I probably wouldn't feel like staying there or having a wholesome moment or like reinitiating what just happened, but in a positive way. I need, I need a different place, a different time. I need processing. Like nobody touch me, everybody leave me alone. Um, especially because I think in that moment the Omega wasn't in heat, so it's not like he needed it at that time. If he was in heat, maybe that would have been different. Um, but I was just like, ah, timing. Why don't we take a little break and go home and have a snack first? <laughs> That's how I felt about that. Um, but I mean, overall, it was sweet. It was queer. It was a good... Uh, I still don't feel like my head is fully sunken into this, but I think I have some more insight. Um, and that is that. Okay. I think that's going to be it for this vlog i will probably be doing more vlogs like this because i am still in a romance reading mood uh everything i've been reading lately has either been sci-fi or horror or romance and i kind of love that for me it's like my, my what like main four genres lately sci-fi horror romance and memoirs uh, uh but i post videos whenever i feel like it so catch you later bye I'm